on this computer. Cool. <clears throat> All right, we're up to 40. That's awesome. Uh, remind me guys to say this a couple times before we close today, because I want to make sure everybody hears this. Our schedule for next week is there's no calls. Now, let me explain why. I have pre-op uh, Monday morning. Uh, Tuesday is election day. I thought about this a lot. Uh, I want everybody to get out and vote. And I don't want anything to stand between you and getting out and vote. So if your intention was to go first thing in the morning to get in that line, I don't want you not going because you'll want to be on this call. So there's not going to be a call on Tuesday. And I have surgery Wednesday morning. And I'm positive Thursday and Friday, you wouldn't want to talk to me. <laughs> so I wouldn't make any sense. I'm sure I'm so full of painkillers. I wouldn't make any sense anyway. So no calls next week. And we will pick up one week from Monday. And my hope and my goal is that a lot of you don't leave me because we're gone for a week. Please come back. All right. Scripts for success. Let me get rid of the chat so I can see everybody that's in our group so I can see all the hands that are raised. Awesome. So I'm going to start with Valerie and we're just going to work on some lead generation scripts. Uh, ring, ring. Hello. Yeah, good morning. May I speak to Valerie, please? This is Valerie. Hey, Valerie. John Dietz, Keller Williams Realty. Uh, thank you for taking my call. I'm sure you're busy. I only need 60 seconds. So Valerie, the reason I called is I noticed you're selling your home by owner. Um, yes, we are. Okay, cool. Is it still available? Yes, it is. Okay. And I'm positive you don't want to list your home, do you? Um, yeah, we're, we're good right now. But yeah, of course. I mean, if you would have listed, you would have already listed with a professional like me. So my question is, if I were to have an offer on your home today, would you want me to bring you the offer? Um, yeah, you got a buyer? You know, that's a great question, Valerie, and I won't know until I see your house. I mean, that's exactly why we should get together. You see, if I could pop by for just 10 minutes, maybe 15, then I potentially could bring you an offer. And you would want me to bring you an offer if I had one, right? Um, right. Yeah. Well, you know, we're, we're kind of busy though. So, I mean, we're really kind of limiting it to, uh, people that have buyers with them. Yeah, of course. And if I had, if I was a buyer and I was going to buy your home today, would you have time to meet with me? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And if I see your home, I could potentially bring you an offer, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. And you see, if I don't see your home, I'm never going to bring you an offer, am I? I guess not. Yeah. And you see, my concern is that I could very well have an offer and you could sell your home if I were to see your home. And that's not going to happen if I don't see it. And I, I know you're busy. I only need 15 minutes to pop by so I could potentially bring you that offer. Um, okay. Yeah. So if we were to meet, Valerie, do mornings, afternoons, evenings, or weekends work best for you? Um afternoons. Okay, so I'm looking at my calendar and I have three o'clock available today or would tomorrow at four be better for you? Uh, four tomorrow. Okay, cool. Great job, Valerie. Right? Thanks. Okay, <laughs> you got it. So Camille, uh, you're an expired listing. Uh, ring, ring. By the Hello. way, once I, once I role play with you guys, take your hand down. Um, just so I know I'm getting through the list. And then once, if I get through everybody, we'll start over again. Uh, may I speak to Camille, please? Uh, this is Camille. Hey, Camille, John Dietz, Keller Williams Realty. Thanks for taking my call. I know you're busy. Just noticed your listing came off the market and I was curious, are you still interested in selling your home? I am, but I, I, I'm not sure what you mean about cut came off the market. Yeah, so I'm looking at a list of new expireds and your home came up on that list which means your home's no longer on the market. Wow. Yeah, and I can tell by your response, you didn't know that, right? Right. Which means your agent didn't tell you that your listing was expiring, correct? Correct. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so just curious, are you still interested in selling your home? I am. 
Right. And if I could show you how I could sell your home for more money on less time, would you like to see how I could do that? Say no. No. Say no. no. Okay. I can appreciate that. What if I had an offer? If I had an offer on your home today, would you want me to bring you the offer? Of course. Yeah. You see, Camille, in order for me to be able to do that, I just need to pop by. It will only take about 10 or 15 minutes for me to see your home so I could potentially bring you an offer. Does today at four o'clock work or would five be better for you? Um, but I thought you had an offer. Yeah, great question, Camille. And I won't know until I see your home. Okay. Well, I do want to see that offer. Yeah. So um, what was the times you were available? So I'm available today at four o'clock or would tomorrow at five be better for you? Uh, today at four would work for me. Okay, that works. Okay, uh, expired listing. I want you to ask me where I was when your, when your home was on the market for six months. Uh, Diane, Diane Schuster, you ready? Yep. Okay, now before I call Diane, I want you guys to, I just wanna give you a couple pointers. I'm gonna point out a couple things that I'm doing. I'm always going to, hey, Diane, it's John Dietz. I'm not, may I speak to Mrs. Schuster, please? This is John Deeds. No, this is a bit, that, that's a sales call. I want this to be a friendly call. I want them to think, do I know this person? All right, and high energy, high energy always. All right, ring, ring. Hello. May I speak to Diane, please? This is Diane. Hey, Diane, John Dietz with Keller Williams Realty. Look, the reason for my call today is I noticed your home came off the market. Just curious, are you still interested in selling? Uh, no. Okay, so time out. I got to that question super quick, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. I'm not going to ask her, are you having a good day? She's not. <laughs> I'm going to get to the question as quickly as possible because if I don't, what, she get, what is she going to do? Hang up. Hang up. Hang up on me. You got it. So let's pick up where we left off. Diane, I noticed your home came, uh, I'm calling because your home came off the market. And I'm just curious, are you still interested in selling your home? No, it didn't work out for me. It finished. I totally understand that, Diane. Before I let you go, important script, guys. That means the call is almost over and she's off the hook. Before I let you go, if I had a full price offer today, would you want me to bring you the offer? I don't know how you're going to do that when you haven't even seen my home. Yeah, I get it. And what I'm hearing is where was I when your home was on the market the last six months, right? Yeah, pretty much. Because yeah. like the agent I hired just <clears throat> didn't do anything for me. Yeah. And, and, you know, I totally understand that. And, you know, in my experience, when a home doesn't sell that should have like yours, that's important, guys. When a home doesn't sell that should have, like yours, great script, it usually comes down to one of three reasons, either price, presentation, or marketing. And just out of curiosity, which of those three do you believe is the reason your home didn't sell? Um, probably marketing, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, yeah. And you're but probably- you know, I, I, you know, I, I, it's done. We decided we're staying because that we needed it six months ago, not six months later. So we decided to stay. Okay. I, I understand you decided to stay just out of curiosity. And, and listen, the reason I'm asking the question is I have lots of homes for sale in the area. And my job is to find a buyer for those properties. I mean, that's exactly what you would want me to do for you if you were to hire me. So just out of curiosity, if your oh, home would... <laughs> You guys, if your home would have sold, where would you have moved? Uh, we were moving to Atlanta to be with our family. Hmm. Wow. Now, like now it's now my husband, because uh, the agent didn't do a good job. He was just like, you know what? Forget it. We're staying. So you don't want to move to Atlanta to be with your family anymore. I mean, I do, but now he got comfortable here. Hmm. You know, and he just did his office because it took so long. And I don't know, it's very discouraging. Totally get that. And if a buyer showed up today with a full price offer, what would you guys do? He's a hard, he's a hard nut to crack, I'm telling you. 
is there a possibility that he would agree to sell the house so that you could move to Atlanta and be with your family? Possibility. Very it's possible. possible. Yeah. But it's possible and you still want to move to Atlanta, right? Oh, definitely. I want to be with my kids. Yeah. And do you have anything to lose by giving me 15 minutes to pop by so I could potentially bring you that offer so that you can move to Atlanta and be with your family? You're going to come in my house? Well, in order for me to bring you an offer, I need to see your house, right? Mm. I, I mean, I guess it's okay. I'm just super nervous about people coming in my house. Okay. So today at four o'clock or would tomorrow at five be better for you? I think tomorrow because I need 24 hours to talk to like to get him ready. Yeah. So the good news is, Diane, I'm not going to buy your house. It doesn't need to be perfect for me. Uh, don't go out of your way to make your home perfect for me because I'm not going to buy your house. But I do need to see it so I could potentially bring you a buyer who would buy your home. So does tomorrow at four work or would five be better for you? I think five o'clock would be better. Okay, cool. Great job, Diane. And, and where I didn't get to go that I wanted to go on that conversation is one of the reasons I didn't see your home in the last six months is because I didn't know it was for sale. Mm -hmm. Now, can I explain? Because they're going to say it was in the MLS, right? Yes. Along with thousands of other properties. And you see... If the MLS sold every home, we wouldn't need real estate agents. Mm -hmm. And if you were to hire me, not only do I put your home in the MLS, but I make sure that the top agents in our market know that your home is for sale. I send them a copy of your listing by email and I reach out and call them and let, your know, let them know your home is for sale. And quite honestly, the reason I didn't see your home is because your agent never let me know your home was for sale. That's good. I was, I mean, I could have gone tougher, but I'm glad, you know, it's interesting. You did great. Michael Topo. <clears throat> so if the purpose of the call guys is to get the appointment, the purpose of the appointment is to build a foundation to follow up from mm -hmm. and to look for opportunity. And remember every seller is asking themselves three questions when they meet with you. Can I trust you? Do you care about me? Do you know what you're doing? And it's my job when I go to see Michael's home to convey the answers to those questions. And I'm not here to list his house. I'm here to build a relationship to follow up from. So Michael, we had an appointment at four o'clock and I'm at the door. Ready? Got it. Yeah, so knock, knock. Michael opens the door. Good afternoon, Michael. I'm John Dietz, Keller Williams Realty. We had an appointment today at five o'clock and it's five o'clock. May I come in? Thank you, John, for being on time. Absolutely. Yeah, cool. Kodak moment. You have 10 seconds to make a great first impression. The moment I'm in the front door. Wow, Michael, you have a beautiful home and I'm so grateful to be here. Now, what I would love is if you could take me on a tour. However, before we do that, would you like me to take off my shoes? No, you're good, John. I appreciate that. Okay, great, Michael. So if you would just take that a tour of your home, I'm going to ask lots of questions and I'm going to take lots of notes because this is the information I'm going to use to help you sell your home. Okay, sounds great. Okay. Now, as we're touring Michael's home, I'm asking questions, I'm taking notes, and I'm taking notes out loud. Taking notes out loud means I'm writing hardwood floors, crown molding, plantation shutters, updated kitchen. Wow, Michael, I love your kitchen. Did you update this? Did you do all the work or was it like this when you bought it? No, we, we did the upgrades here at about a year and a half ago. Did an amazing job. Thank you. Absolutely beautiful. So granite countertops? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Maple cabinets, stainless steel floors, travertine, uh, stainless steel floors, that's funny. Stainless steel appliances, travertine floors. Absolutely beautiful, Michael. If I lived in your home, I would spend a lot of time in the kitchen, right? Thank you. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So we're going to end up at the front door, guys. This is the exit script. So Michael, before I leave, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. Would that be okay? Go for it. 
Cool. So, you know, Michael, in my experience, when someone is selling their home by owner, they usually have a game plan for how long they're going to sell by owner before they hire a professional like me. Just out of curiosity, what's your game plan? I don't really have a huge rush, John, you know, mm -hmm. whether it's, you know, 30 days or 60 days, it, it, you know, I don't really have a rush. Okay, fair enough. And, and I know you shared with me that if your home sold, you were moving to, I think you said Atlanta, right? Yep, that's right. Yeah, yeah. and what's important about moving to Atlanta? We've got family there. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Love that. So last question, and then I'll leave. You know, again, in my experience, Michael, most homeowners who are selling by owner are selling by owner in order to save on the commission. Is that the reason you're selling by owner? Absolutely. $20,000 is a lot of money. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Now, I know that when we scheduled the appointment, you shared with me that if an agent brought you an offer, you would pay them 3%, correct? Yeah. So, sure. John, bring me that buyer and you'll get your 3%. <clears throat> Love it. And that's going to be my goal, Michael. So, the difference between selling your home by owner and working with a professional like me is 3% then not 6%, correct? That's true. Yeah. Now, guys, that's just called dropping a bomb and walking away. If I see opportunity, I'm going to ask the next question. If I don't see opportunity, I'm simply going to transition to, sure, Michael, that makes sense. And before I leave, I just want to share with you that I'm really good at follow-up. I'm super persistent, but I'm not pushy. So what that means is I will stay in touch with you and I'm a phone call away if you have any questions. Perfect. Okay. Now, if I see opportunity, an opportunity shows up as frustration. I'm gonna to transition to the next question, which is, Michael, if I could show you how I could sell your home for more money in less time, and you could actually net more money by working with a professional like me, would you be interested in seeing how I could do that? I would be, but I just don't know how you can make that happen. Oh, I'm so glad he said that. You're a great student, Michael. Yeah, so that's a good question. You know, Michael, let's just say, for example, that you and I are going to buy a watch and we have a budget of $300. And we go to Nordstrom's, my favorite store, and we find this watch and it's $300 and we decide to buy it. Now, we get home and we don't like the watch and we can't return it. So we're gonna sell it in a garage sale the next day. Are we gonna get $300 for the watch? Probably not, John. Yeah, yeah. Now, when we went to Nordstrom's, Nordstrom's is attracting buyers who expect to pay retail. It's being sold by a professional and a garage sale is attracting buyers who are looking for what? Bargain. A deal. A deal. Yeah. hundred percent. And the garage sale, the watch is being sold by who? By the owner. Hmm. So Michael, is it possible as a professional real estate agent, I might attract better buyers? Yes, I, I see your point, John. Then is it possible that I could sell your home for more money in less time? That's a possibility. Right. What's he going to say to that, guys? I'm not asking him, will I sell your home for more money in less time? I'm asking, is it possible? He has to say yes, which leads to, that's exactly why we should get together. Does tomorrow at four o'clock work or would five be better for you? You know what, John, I'm really curious. Let's meet tomorrow at four. Cool. Good job, Michael. Thank you. All right, follow-up call. Blanca, get ready. So, Blanca, you're the appointment that I just went on. It's week one, and I'm following up because there wasn't opportunity. I didn't see frustration, and I just closed with I'm really good at follow-up. So, ring, ring. Unmute. <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. Bonds. Okay. Hi. 
Good morning. May I speak to Blanca? This is she. Hey, Blanca, it's John Dietz with Keller Williams. Thanks for taking my call. Oh, the agent. Yes, absolutely. So I'm just following up as promised. Important script, guys. I'm following up as promised. And the reason for my call today, Blanca, is I just wanted to check in. And first of all, I wanted to thank you for allowing me to come out and see your home last week. Oh, you're welcome. But I already got another agent. Okay, so time out. Right? Not on script. What does that mean, Blanca? Did you list your house? I already signed my listing agreement with somebody else. Oh, well. <laughs> is, my, is my niece, is my niece. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. You're fired. Blanca, <laughs> put your hand down. <laughs> no, but I have another one. This is worse. I am a sale by owner, call me. Well, Blanca, time out, listen, pay, pay attention so you know the rules. <laughs> oh, okay. This is a follow-up call to someone who I met with, who yes, was selling I their know. home, and it's one week after I met with them. Yes. They haven't listed their home with somebody else. Oh, okay. I, I'm not looking to stump the teacher right now. <laughs> because okay, that, no, it's and, because... In that situation, guys, what would I do? I would simply say, that's cool. I'm glad to hear that, Blanca. I'm sure okay. the agent you hired is awesome, and I'm positive they're going to do a great job. And then I'm okay. going to end the call, and I'm going to call somebody else. There is nothing else to talk about right now. Okay. Right? I'm not okay. looking for, I sold my home. Good. Well, I mean, that would be okay, because there's a response to that. So, Blanca, you want to start over? Yes. Okay, be a little bit nicer to me, okay? <laughs> They are not nice to us. So no, anyway. no, 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 Blanca. This is not the first call. This is a yeah, follow-up call. I know. Yes, they're gonna be okay. a little bit nicer. That's a myth. If you think they're gonna be a jerk, because they're not okay. gonna be a jerk. Okay. All right. All right. So, good morning, Blanca. John Dietz with Keller Williams Realty. Oh, hi. How are you? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you for taking my call, and I'm following up as promised. Yes. I just wanted to check in and see, is your home still for sale? Yes. Okay. Well, you know, first of all, I want to thank you for allowing me to come out and see your home last week. You have a beautiful home and I'm positive it'll sell. So thank you. You're a very nice guy. Thank you for that. So the second reason for my call is I wanted to check in and see if you have any questions. Is there anything that I can help you with today? No, nothing. Thank you. I've been receiving several calls like asking yeah. for my property. Yeah, yeah, of course. You have a great house. That doesn't surprise me. So, yes, it is. Yeah, so as promised, Blanca, I'm super good at follow-up. And I'm going to work really hard to find a buyer for you so we can get your home sold. If you have any questions, I'm a phone call away. And I'll call you again next week. That sounds great. When you have a qualified buyer, bring it to me. Thank you, Blanca. Make it a great day. Okay, okay. great job, Blanca. Now, no, but I have another question because it's okay. happening to me a lot. A lot of sales by owner are realtors. So the sure. first thing that they tell you, you call and say, are you like, uh, if you want to do that, call me like if I, and I'll tell you that I'm a realtor and what have they, they've been telling me. Yeah. So you're a real estate agent, right, Blanca? Yeah. Yes. And, and you're selling your home by owner, correct? Yes. Yeah, cool. So Blanca, just out of curiosity, what does a great buyer look like? I know all the scripts of you guys. I'm a, I don't want an agent. Thank you. Yeah, next call. You're that, And that's it, Blanca. Next call. Actually, I'm going to call you back. Hey, Blanca, John Dietz, Keller Williams Realty. I think we got disconnected. No, we didn't. I hang okay. up because I am a realtor and I am an attorney and I know how to do this. Okay. Guys, and I'm a little bit of a smart ass, right? So that's so awesome. I'm glad you're a real estate agent and I'm glad you're an attorney. And what does a great buyer look like? One that has the money. Yeah, I agree. Now, can I share with you what a great buyer looks like to me? Well, I told you already, if you bring me somebody that has the full money and is qualified, then I'll give you two and a half percent commission. Even okay. if you want, I'll give you three, but bring me the buyer. Okay, and you're never going to list your home, right? <clears throat> oh, 
so far, no, because okay. I'm getting a lot of calls in Zillow and Trulia and all places where I have posted it. As I told you, I'm a realtor. Okay, Ryan. I mean, Blanca, that's awesome. Make it a great day. Bye. Ryan, you ready? Yes, I am. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Ryan, John Dietz with Keller Williams Realty. How are you doing today? I'm good, and you? Oh, I'm always good. Thanks for asking. And thanks for taking my call. I know you're busy. I'll be super quick. So I am following up as promised. And I just wanted to check in. And first of all, thank you for allowing me to come see your home. You have a beautiful home. And I just wanted to know, is it still for sale? Yes, it is. Okay. And be careful not to say awesome there, guys. It's not awesome. <laughs> and have you had any offers, Ryan? Not yet, but I can see a, a few offers in the next few days. Okay. That's cool. And you're getting lots of showings? Yeah. I've, I had an open house last Saturday, and um, I'm having another one this weekend. So... That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm really glad to hear that. Yeah. And you know, Ryan, the purpose for my call is just to follow up. I mean, I know you don't want to list your home, right? No, bec um, I don't want to pay the buyer's commission. Totally. The buyer's understand. agent commission. Yeah, I understand. So as promised, I'm good at follow up, which means I following up, I will call again next week. And I'm a phone call away if you have any questions. Okay. Before, um, before you go, um, I had something on the chat saying that I'm meeting someone today. Um, she, he, he doesn't want to pay the buyer's commission. Like, I'm still going to, to the appointment, but like, what's your script for that? So, Ryan, I understand you don't want to pay a commission. Totally get it. So, when I bring you an offer, if I bring you an offer, when I bring you an offer, choose whichever script you want to use, guys. You share with me what you feel is fair. And if I'm able to work for that, we've got a deal. No, the buyer is going to pay your commission, not me. Okay, I'm fine with that. When I bring you an offer, if you're not going to accept the offer unless the buyer is willing to pay my commission, I'm cool with that. And we can discuss that when I have an offer on your home. Okay, no problem. Yeah. So, Ryan, here's the point. Until that happens, it doesn't matter. Okay. Do you understand what I mean by that? Does that make yes, sense? I do. Yeah, yes. it doesn't it doesn't matter. It's it's just noise. Ignore the noise. I am following up looking for opportunity and until I see opportunity, everything else is noise and I'm just going to ignore it until I see opportunity. All right, it's 8:32 believe it or not. And I got through about 25, not even, I got through about 10% of the scripts that I wanted to get, get through with you guys. And, you know, for those of you who attended mega camp last month, I think it was last month, might've been two months ago, who knows time, time, whatever. The most popular breakout they did was the script off. So my aha from that is real estate agents want scripts. I don't know if this was an amazing use of our time. I don't know if you got incredible value today. I hope you did. That's why I'm here. And <clears throat> there's not a script and I'm not saying this with ego. I'm just saying it because it's true. There's not a script in real estate there's not a conversation in real estate that I don't have a script for. There's not an objection you're gonna hear that I don't have an objection, a, a script for. If you wanna get closer to your goal, this is where you are, this is where you wanna go. If you wanna move closer to your goal, the one thing you could do, if you were not gonna do anything else, the one thing you could do is practice your scripts every day in order to master those conversations of real estate. Give me a couple of ha's and we're going to check out. And guys, thank you for all the comments in the chat. Wishing me um, wow. good luck on my surgery, surgery next week. It means a lot to me. It really does. All right. Oh, John, I have one question. And, I, and, I, and I'm getting feedback. Somebody has more than one channel open. If it's you, please mute. Yeah, talk to me. Um, where, where do you get all of these scripts from? Where can I find them? <laughs> They're in my head. 
What is that? What is that? I said climb inside his head. <laughs> You're inside his head. Oh, okay. I got to climb in there. <laughs> now, guys, I don't know where that feedback is coming from, but I don't want to mute everybody because I can't talk to you if I do that. All right. Okay, it went away. Donna, don't go away because that was that was not a good answer. Um, Scripts for Success in Real Estate is on Amazon. That is a tiny little book, about 80 pages that I wrote six years ago. Uh, Rainmaker is my second book that is coming out shortly, hopefully, is a much more in-depth, deep dive into how to lead generate to be successful in real estate. And that book has a lot more scripts in it. Uh, I have scripts that I have in print saved in, um, um, on my computer. And I've emailed those out to this group before. And I realize I have agents on this call today that haven't been on the call for seven months. So what I'll do is I will email um, part of what I have in my computer to everybody on the call today. So you'll get an email from me in the next 24 hours with scripts that you could use. Now I'm not guaranteeing that everything that I shared with you today will be in there, but a lot will, and a lot that we didn't talk about will. It's my goal to bring value to you. That's the reason I do this. So. I'm being funny when I say they're in my head, but they really are. They're in my head and I can still share them with you. All right. A couple more ahas guys or questions. Don, I've got, I've got one. Yes. So when you were dealing with the difficult call and it wasn't a great result. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. Next. Yes. John, yes. no matter how good you get with your scripts, you're not going to win all of them. No. I'm not trying to. Yep. I really don't. Matter of fact, I don't care. Right. I really don't. Reject rejection. I am not judged by the number of times I succeed. I am judged by the number of times I, excuse me, I am not judged by the number of times I fail. I am judged by the number of times I succeed. And the number of times I succeed is in direct proportion to the number of times I can fail and keep trying. Mm-hmm. Hey, John, what do you say when a, a seller who didn't know their listing expired says, oh, well, I better call my agent? Cool. If I had an offer on your home today, would you want me to bring you the offer? Uh, sure. So does today at four o'clock work? Or would five be better for you? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I, you know, I really, I really would like to see what's going on with my agent. So are you planning on relisting with your previous agent then, Valerie? Um, I, you know, I don't know. I got to see what happened. Yeah, no, I get it. And just out of curiosity, what are they going to do different this time that they didn't do for the last six months? <laughs> um, well, you know, th there were some things that we should have done to the house that we really didn't do. Mm -hmm. And yeah. he, I thought he said he had somebody that made an offer this weekend. Hmm. I understand. So your home is off your home is off the market, right? Yeah. Which means no one's going to call to see your home because no one knows your home is for sale. And if I could bring you an offer and help you sell your home, where would you move to just out of curiosity? Florida. Really? Wow. What's in Florida? Uh, beaches, warm weather. That no sounds awesome. Snow. That sounds awesome. And just curious, are you on a scale of one to 10 with one being kind of interested and 10 being super motivated, how motivated are you to move to Florida? Eight and a half to nine. Yeah, yeah, okay. And if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're probably gonna get what you've got so far, correct? Well, that's a good point. Yeah, and maybe you just need to change one thing. And by meeting with me, if I could show you one way that you can get your home sold that you haven't tried yet, would it be a waste of your time to meet with me? I guess not. Do you have anything to lose by allowing me to pop by and take a look at your home so I could potentially bring you an offer? Pop on by. 
Yeah, I mean, actually, if I were to bring you an offer today, your home's not on the market. You only have one real estate agent you have to pay. And actually, you're sa saving money that way, aren't you? Ooh, love it. Oh, yes, yes. So does today at four work or would five be better for you? Five. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. All right, guys, it is 840. Thank you for hanging in there with me 10 minutes overtime. You guys are amazing. Just as a reminder, because I there's maybe some of you on the call right now that weren't on the call earlier. We do not have any calls next week. Um, I have pre-op. Uh, appointments on Monday. Tuesday is election day. I want you to vote. I want you to get out early. I want you to stand in line for as long as it takes. And I want you to vote. Wednesday, I have th surgery. Thursday and Friday, I'll be out of it. So a week from Monday, I'm back. A week from Monday at 8 a.m., I'll be here and excited to get back on this call with all of you. Good luck with it. Time Great to get to work. Time. I bet you guys thought I was going to forget. Time to get to work. What is work? Work is 20 conversations, not 17, not 18, not 19, because when you settle for close enough, you're going to miss that million dollar listing. Focus on building relationships. These are care calls, not sale calls. The goal of every single call includes get an appointment, get a referral, add somebody to your database. Find somebody today that's looking to buy a home or sell a home. Get face-to-face -face every day with someone who's thinking of buying a home or selling a home. Doesn't matter if it's 30 days from now, six months from now, or a year from now, because you're going to need listings a year from now. And then follow up forever. Reject rejection. No is not a word that lives in your vocabulary. No just means not yet. People will not change their mind. What they will do is make a new decision based on new information. Make it a great day. Thank Good you. luck, John. <sighs> Thank, Good you. Luck. Thank you. 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 Thank